Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So find the area bounded by the two curves x equals y squared minus 4y minus 2 and x equals 4 minus y squared. So first we need to find the point of intersection, the POI. So by combining these two equations, so we have the first equation x equals y squared minus 4y minus 2 and the other one x equals 4 minus y squared so to find the solution we're going to use the substitution method since in the second equation x is equal to 4 minus y squared so substitute this equation to the first equation so this becomes 4 minus y squared because x is equal to 4 minus y squared then equals y squared minus 4y minus 2 then equate this one to 0 so transpose everything to the right so we have 0 then equals so y squared minus 4y minus 2 then transpose to the right this becomes positive y squared transpose to the right this becomes negative 4 then combine like terms so y squared plus y squared that's 2y squared then minus 4y this negative 2 and negative 4 that's negative 6 then equals 0 since we can reduce this equation so divisible by 2 so this 2y squared divided by 2 this one is y squared then minus 4y divided by 2 this one is 2y then negative 6 divided by 2 this one is 3 then equals 0 then since this one is a quadratic equation so we can solve this one using quadratic factoring so using the quadratic factoring equals 0 so the factors of y squared that's y times y and the factors of negative 3 that's 3 times 1 since 3 is negative so one of these factor is negative and one is positive but since the middle term is negative so therefore the bigger number is negative so this one is negative and this one is positive then to solve for y equate these factors to 0 so we have y minus 3 equals 0 then the other one y plus 1 equals 0 so to solve for y so for the first factor y is equal to positive 3 so transpose this one to the right and the other one y equals negative 1 then to solve for x so solve for x let's start with at y equals positive 3 so we're going to use this equation to solve for x so from x equals 4 minus y squared but since y equals 3 so this becomes 3 squared simplify so 4 minus 3 squared that's 9 so therefore x is equal to negative 5 so the first coordinate x is negative 5 and y is positive 3 then for y equals negative 1 so we have x equals 4 minus so y squared and y is negative 1 so this one is negative 1 squared so that's 4 minus 1 so therefore x is positive 3 so the second coordinate we have positive 3 and negative 1 then to put this one on a graph 
so we have this one is y this is x so the first coordinate that's negative 5 and positive 3 so x is negative 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 so this one is negative 5 then positive 3 positive 1 positive 2 and positive 3 so this point is negative 5 and positive 3 and for the second coordinate of the point of intersection so x is positive 3 and negative 1 so therefore this point is positive 3 and negative 1 so these are the point of intersection then to check the movement of the curve so since this one is x so we're going to solve for the x-intercept to find the movement of the curves so x-intercept and to solve for the x-intercept we let y equals to 0 so for the first equation x equals y squared minus 4y minus 2 since y equals 0 so we have 0 squared minus 4 times 0 minus 2 so therefore x is equal to negative 2 then from the second equation x equals 4 minus y squared so again y equals 0 so 4 minus 0 squared so therefore x is equal to positive 4 then to plot this uh, on a graph so we have x equals negative 2 this one is negative 2 so therefore the curve opens to the right so this curve and this is the equation of this curve then the other one x equals 4 this one is positive 4 and these are the point of intersection so therefore the curve opens to the left and the equation of this curve that's x equals 4 minus y squared since the curve opens to the left or opens to the right or we're solving for the x-intercept so we're going to use the x-axis to solve for the area so we're going to solve for this area using the x-axis and the formula to solve for the area so we have now the integral of the lower limit then the upper limit so the right x minus the left x then the dy so in the graph this one is the right x and this is the equation and this is the left x and this is the equation so to solve now for the area so formula we have the, the integral of the lower limit upper limit then the right x minus the left x then the dy since the right x that's x equals 4 minus y squared so therefore this equation is the right x and this equation is the left x so substitute now the values so we have the integral of right x that's 4 minus y squared then minus the left x that's y squared minus 4y minus 2 then the dy for the lower limit and the upper limit since the variable is y so we're going to use 
the values of y for the lower limit and the upper limit. So this negative 1 is the lower limit and this positive 3 is the upper limit. So we have now negative 1 for the lower limit and positive 3 for the upper limit. Then simplify. So we have now the integral of negative 1 and 3. So we have 4 minus y squared. So distribute this negative to every term. This becomes negative y squared. That's positive 4y. Positive 2. Then the dy. Then simplify. So we have now the integral. We have uh, this positive 4 and positive 2. That's 6. Then this negative y squared and negative y squared. That's negative 2y squared. Then plus 4y, then the dy. Then find the integral. So distribute the integral to every term. Put this constant outside. So we have now 6. Then the integral of dy. Then minus. So this constant outside 2. Then the integral of y squared dy. Then plus this constant outside, that's 4, then the integral of y dy. Then solve for the integral, so 6, the integral of dy is y, minus 2 times the integral of y squared. So plus 1 for the exponent, that's y to the power 3, then over 3. Plus 4 times the integral of y dy. This one is y to the power 1, then plus 1 for the exponent. That's y to the power 2 over 2. And for the lower limit, that's negative 1. The upper limit, that's positive 3. Then simplify. So this one is 6y minus 2y to the power 3 over 3. Plus 4 divided by 2, this one is 2. So plus 2, y squared, then negative 1, and 3. So this time, substitute the values of y. So let's start with the upper limit. So y is equal to 3. So we have 6 times 3. Then minus 2 times y equals 3 over 3 plus 2 times 3 squared. Then minus, so y now equals negative 1. So we have 6 times negative 1, then minus. 2 times negative 1 to the power 3 over 3. And then plus 2 times negative 1 squared. Then simplify. So this 6 times 3, this one is 18. Then minus this 3 to the power 3, that's 27. Then 27 times 2, that's 54. Then over 3. Plus this 3 squared, that's 9. Then times 2, that's 18. Then minus, so this 6 times negative 1, that's negative 6. Then minus negative 1 to the power 3, that's negative 1. Then times 2, so negative 1 times 2, that's negative 2. Then plus... Negative 1 squared, that's 1, times 2, that's 2. Then simplify. So we have now uh, 18. Then this uh, 54 divided by 3, that's 18. So minus 18. Then plus 18, then minus 
So this uh, negative 6 and positive 2, that's negative 4. Then we have this negative and negative, that's positive 2 over 3. So positive 2 over 3. Then simplify. So 18 minus 18, the 0 plus 18. So this one is 18. Then minus. So we can use cross multiplication for this equation. So this one is over 1. So negative 4 times 3, that's negative 12. Then 1 times 2, that's positive 2. Then over 1 times 3, this one is 3. Then we have now this 18 minus, so we have this negative 12 plus 2, that's negative 10, then over 3. Then we have now 18, then this negative and negative, that's positive, 10 over 3. So to simplify, so we're going to use cross multiplication, this one is over 1. So 18 times 3, this one is 54, then 1 times 10, that's positive 10, then over 1 times 3, that's positive 3. Then we have now 54 plus 10, that's 64, over 3, or this one is 21 and 1 over 3. So this is now the area of the two curves.